In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with ClickBank even if you're dead freaking broke. What's going on fam? Eric Ellis Jr. here with ericellisjr.com and if this is your first time coming across my beautiful face, who am I? The light skin excited guy who is a serial digital entrepreneur who loves to create content to help you live a life of time, location, and financial freedom and teach you how to crush it online. If you like those type of videos, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell, and join the freaking family. Now, we're gonna go ahead and cover uh, ClickBank, uh, how to get started as a broke ass beginner, right? If you're dead freaking broke. Now, for those of you who are looking for a little bit more advanced training, literally over 40 hours of training, I have a course called Emails for Profits. It'll be the first link in the description. You guys can take your business to the next level. It literally goes in depth with everything. Way more than this video. But for those of you who are beginners, let's get right into the content. Boom, we're behind the laptop. So first and foremost, if you guys haven't already, you're simply just gonna go to press create an account, go to clickbank.com, and boom, you fill in your details. What I would highly recommend is answering these questions like you know what the freak you're doing. Because if you act like you're a novice, uh, beginner they're not gonna approve your account why because there's a lot of people from overseas who uh, create Clickbank accounts they spam the links everywhere and they may make Clickbank they give them a bad name right so answer these questions like you know what you're doing next once we go ahead the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the marketplace right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and look at these things called categories aka find a niche now, what I would highly recommend is three niches, especially if you're just beginning, right? To actually learn the fundamentals. And then once you learn the fundamentals of internet marketing, and ClickBank and everything of that nature, then what you can do is you can invest into another niche that you're actually passionate about. But first, let's, let's figure out how to make some damn money, right? So there's health, wealth, and romance. Those are the evergreen niches. I'm not gonna go into detail. What we're gonna do in this video is go to e-business and e-marketing. Which, is, which falls under the umbrella of, of wealth, right? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and figure out how to find a good offer on ClickBank, right? Now, a good offer to me is something that is going to make you money, make you a lot of money at that. Number two, something that actually helps people, something that is ethical, something that you can put your face behind, something that you wouldn't be ashamed to promote. And last but not least, something that actually converts very well and has a whole bunch of back-end upsells. What is an upsell? Let's just say the front end of this offer sells for $30. Then what happens is, is on the back end, there's gonna be a series of additional offers that basically gives you the opportunity to increase your overall order value, right? First and foremost, uh, we're gonna need to find an offer and then we're gonna need to get traffic to that offer. And I'm gonna show you guys how to actually use ClickBank and their shitty offers to actually drive traffic to the good offers, right? So here's the first thing, right? This first thing that you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and uh, sort your offers by gravity. What the gravity is basically the amount of people who have actually made money with ClickBank within the last um, within the last week. So five minutes profits, they've actually had 139 people who have uh, made money selling this product, right? But, but, right, here's the thing. We're gonna go to the affiliate page. So that's the next thing. We wanna go to the affiliate page and then we wanna look at the actual offers. Now, if we look here, get my affiliate tools. Eric Gellis. And then ClickBank name. Sure, let's make money. Now, the affiliate page is basically gonna show you guys everything that you guys need to know. Now, here's the thing. They have a whole bunch of stuff. It talks about um, they pay 75% commissions. You make as much as $358 from each lead you generate, right? And then all you do is, if you like it, so they have funnels, they have affiliate links, they have landing pages, they have most of these things done for you. Email promos, banner images. Now, here's my problem with 5-Minute Profits, right? 
It's good for the affiliates, but it's bad for the consumer. What do I mean by this, right? There's two things. It has a whole bunch of backend upsells. So it has one of the things. There's three things that we're looking for. So it has a whole bunch of backend upsells. The affiliate company wants to make us rich because they're literally giving us all the tools, all the resources. So they have banner ads, they have landing pages, they have about the product, they literally have email promos, they literally have everything you need to actually promote it. So they have two of the three. Now the last one, which is most important to me, I don't know about you, but to me is, is it going to help people? Is it a something that I'm willing to put my name behind? Why? Because I'm in this for the long haul, I'm not in this for quick bucks. So with that being said, what I do is the last step, once you find the first two, okay, this checks out on the first two, we're gonna go ahead and look at reviews, right? So the easiest way for me to look at reviews is to go on YouTube, right? And there's actually terrible reviews about this. And somebody actually steps behind the computer and actually buys the product and shows you inside and it shows you what they offer, right? If it's a crappy offer, no, it doesn't matter how good it converts. It doesn't matter if they give you all the freaking advertisement material. If it's a crappy product, do not promote it right? Because that just goes against ethics and morals and standards, right? So with that being said, we're actually going to leverage this being a crappy offer later on. And I'm going to show you how, right? So we're going to continue to actually look in ClickBank and we're going to find something that has all three, right? All three things. Now, for time's sake, I'm not going to go all, through all of these, but CB passive income, I'll go to this one, right? So what we want to do is we want to look at the actual page. So what does the page look like? So this is what the sales page looks like. It doesn't look too spammy. Here's your opportunity to call my entire proven internet business system today. Okay, not too bad. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look at the affiliate page. So we look at the offer. We're looking at the affiliate page to see if they're giving us the materials to actually be successful. So... Okay, so as I was stating before, 50% commissions. Okay, it could be a little bit higher, but we're not complaining. And then it has multiple upsells. So you can get paid, right? We wanna find something with multiple upsells. And then why promote, right? They're really, I'm pretty sure if you put in this information and you press sign up now, they're gonna go in and give you promotion tools. Right, so here's the promotion tools. And they give you all the promotion tools that you guys need. They have email copy and everything of that nature. And last but not least, right? Let's look at reviews. So let's go to YouTube really quick. CB passive income. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at reviews. Now there's actually good reviews behind this, right? There's good reviews. So I'm gonna be willing to promote this, right? So you do, do your due diligence. Do they have other materials that I need to promote? Number two, do they have multiple upsells? Number three, is there a high gravity score? Meaning, are people making money from this right now? Number four, is it something that I can stand behind with my brand? Number five, once we find the winning offer, is figuring out how to get people in front of that offer. So, let's take a look. How do we get people in front of this offer? Now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go ahead and leverage these offers that aren't good, Right, so first and foremost, let me actually get my affiliate link. Get my affiliate link, I'm gonna press promote, and then I'm gonna create a link. Now, this is a very ugly link. Would you click this link? This looks very spammy, very scammy, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use something called Bitly. I'm gonna create a link, I'm gonna post that link, and I'm gonna create a link, right? With Bitly, and then what I'll do is I'll put C, CB income streams. Boom. Save. But I'm going to copy this link. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start searching for crappy offers. Right? Now, an example is this one right here five minute profit site. So we're going to start literally going through all of these, doing due diligence seeing which ones are actually good offers, seeing which ones are bad offers. And then the bad offers, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a list, right? And the way you find out is simply by looking at this one right here or YouTube, right? So what we're gonna do is if you're brand new, the easiest way to get traffic, targeted traffic is doing product reviews. Now, what a lot of people are gonna do is they're gonna say, okay, do a product review on the actual offer that you're promoting. 
That's the first one, right? So actually, let's just say if I was doing CD Passive Income, I would create a product review on CD Passive Income and telling people why they should actually buy this product. Number two, what I'm gonna do is find offers that are crappy and show people, listen, avoid this by all costs. This is the reasons why. And then what I'm gonna say, however, obviously you're looking at this video or you're looking, reading this blog to figure out how to make money. This isn't the right offer for you. Check this out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put my product placement of a really good offer that is actually gonna help people and redirect that same traffic of people who are looking for that initial offer. And then it's, it's an easy sell, it's the low hanging fruit. People are like, shit, I was just trying to make money. This one doesn't work, but this person's vouching for this. Let me check this out, right? And then you're gonna redirect them to your actual offer. So an example, right, five minute profits review. You can look at this one, five minutes profits review, bad review, and then if we look at this blog, five minutes prof profit site scam review. And then literally, I don't know what type of, it's a total BS, right? So it's basically talking about this stuff and then what you could do is literally drive traffic to your blog. Now guys, if you're broke as hell, right? A YouTube channel is absolutely free. So you simply create these product reviews of these crappy items and then after 80% of your content is actually reviewing the product, you're just gonna say, listen, I know you were looking to make money online, right? This doesn't work for you, check this out. Or if there's like a weight loss product, hey, I know you're looking to lose weight, this product sucks, but check out this product, right? To so where I can say, look, this product does not work, but check out Organifi or Green Juice, right? And I can redirect them to an offer that actually works. And the same thing, if you guys aren't the type of person who likes to be behind the camera like me, then you can create a blog. Now I did, I looked at, how much does it cost to start a blog? Now guys, if you guys can't fork up $37 to start a WordPress blog, you guys don't want it bad enough, you don't deserve to make money online, work at Taco Bell or McDonald's. If you guys are resourceful enough to find $37, start a freaking blog. Now me personally, I recommend YouTube. But if you don't want to do YouTube, start a blog. Same type of traffic, right? Same thing, look, they're giving a review on this blog and then you just redirect them with one of your offers. And then a YouTube video, you just uh, create a quick little video. It's way easier to make a eight minute video than to write a freaking blog. I'll, I'll tell you that much, right? And if you are creating YouTube videos of reviews, what you can actually do is you can go to some place like Fiverr or you can go to some place like um, uh, Upwork and you can actually have somebody transcribe that YouTube video that you created and you can go ahead and create it into a blog post, right? So you don't even have to write it. You get somebody to transcribe it and write, rewrite it into a blog format and then still promote your offers to where you didn't have to write it the blog. You killed two birds with one stone. So you're, you're ranking for your video and you're ranking for your actual blog post. And just to show you guys, so ericellisjr.com, which you can actually do even better for people who stumble across your blog, so like, here's a ClickFunnels review. So what I did is here's a review, right? So I actually created a video and then I have my video here, right? So I have my video embedded to where when people stumble across my, my blog, I mean my blog, I also have my video that I created on YouTube and I have the link, the affiliate link, right? So here's actually a positive review, but what you can do is the same thing. You see these affiliate links? An example, what if I did a review about lead pages? Right? I could say, look, these are the problems with lead pages. This is the problems with Infusionsoft. However, this is a much better solution. And then I would redirect them to this ClickFunnels link with my blog. Same thing with the uh, YouTube video. You create a YouTube video about these, these companies and you give your honest opinion and then you redirect that traffic to a better offer, right? So that's the first step. Now, if you're dead broke, that's how I would begin. But once you guys actually start generating an income and start generating sales, then the next step that I would do is I would invest into ClickFunnels. I'd invest into Aweber, right? So that way we can start, um, we can create a sales funnel, right? If you don't know what a sales funnel is, um, it's simply a little capture page so you can capture emails. So instead of driving traffic to that link, you're driving traffic to your sales funnel and you can capture this email list and you can start building an email list. The fortune is in the follow-up. So the people who don't buy from you up front, they're going to become a lead, a prospect on your email list. 
and you can start using that money that you were driving that traffic to you can start you can actually invest into these softwares because now you can afford it and then you can start investing into paid traffic to drive traffic to these actual offers right and then you can start building an email list building a relationship with that list and then later on right let's just say 30 days down the line they finally make a purchase from you but if you didn't capture that lead the first time that they stumbled across your offer you're not you're not going to make that money but over the long haul right people will buy from you long term as you establish a relationship with your email list right so that's what i do i do something called list building right i drive traffic to affiliate offers up front hoping that i either break even or make money up front and the real money is made once you capture those leads because that's just a, a form of free traffic literally with one email if you look one email generated about 500 uh clicks 500 free, free clicks or excuse me 500 opens right so that's free traffic so with that being said guys um that's literally how i would start clickbank i would go ahead and find an offer find a niche find an offer then um the ones that are bad offers i'll go ahead and write reviews about those and say listen this these aren't this isn't really the best of companies or this isn't the best product however if you're looking for an alternative or looking for something that actually works check this out if you're a video type of person create a video if you're not create a blog minimum 37 freaking dollars learn how to write and then what you can do is you can start reinvesting that money into different softwares to actually start building your business like ClickFunnels and Aweber and then you can start driving traffic with paid traffic and um, you can actually use something called Udemy. Um, here's one method for make money online. I'd highly recommend that, right? Udemy, you start driving traffic, you start scaling your business, growing your business, growing your business. Now, for those of you who don't know how to create sales funnels, who don't know how to do email marketing, who don't know how to do any of that stuff, right? I do have a course called Emails for Profits. It'd be one of the first, probably the first thing in the description. It'll literally teach you guys how to create a affiliate marketing business from scratch, right? If you do have a little bit of money to invest, this will give you the shortcut. Instead of wasting six months, 12 months of your time, right? Emails for Profits is literally gonna teach you how to create sales funnels, right? There's already over 40 hours of content. It's gonna teach you how to create sales funnels. It's gonna teach you how to drive traffic. It's gonna teach you how to do email marketing, how to actually write the emails, how to write the text on your sales funnels, how to get people to your actual sales process, how to pick the right offers, how to pick the right niche, literally everything you need and then some. And not only that, you're also gonna go ahead and get access to a private community of people who are like-minded and on the same path as you trying to succeed within affiliate marketing, internet marketing, to where I'm literally gonna teach you step-by-step step how to live the laptop lifestyle. Like right now, like this is my apartment in Malaysia right now. I'm literally in Malaysia. Like I'm in Malaysia right now. Literally, all I need is my laptop. That's how I work. Um, high rise condos because I've learned this skill set, guys. It's, it's, it's well worth the investment. I make m well more than I'm charging for this course every single day, right? So it's worth it. It's an investment. You invest this money, and then on the back, and you're gonna go ahead and learn the skill set, right? You're either gonna invest two ways, right? You're either gonna invest with your time, which is wasting it, which loses thousands of dollars. Or you're going to go ahead and invest into yourself and invest into a course that will literally teach you how to get there much freaking quicker. So click the link in the description. Take immediate action to be the best investment you've made this year. I appreciate you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And as always, I will see you tomorrow. Eric Ellis Jr. checking out.